Hello? <laughs> Can we, are we on? Can you hear us? Can you see us? So um, I'm, you guys know who I am, but who's this person? I, I don't know, tell the audience. <laughs> Do you recognize his voice? <laughs> we got Eric on! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Eric to show his face. Because Brian was supposed to be on and then uh, realized he had an interview. <laughs> uh, so he brought on, if you guys were on any of our social media, the picture of uh, contraption, all the, uh, the wires and stuff is his, um, one of his arcade boards to one of his games. He collects arcade games. Um, so we're going to play that today. So that should be fun. Um, so yeah, and we got Eric. So cheers, cheers, finally on screen. So I don't know if uh, anyone can actually hear us at the moment. So, oh, can you uh, guys hear us? Yeah. It doesn't even look like there's anyone in the chat. Oh. No one's out there. We're just talking to ourselves. I'm gonna we mute brought us. Eric on for nothing. I'm gonna mute us real quick. Oh, oh <laughs> we okay. got someone. <laughs> oh, hey, wow, someone in the cheap seats. Okay. I was gonna say Eric probably is tricking me and there's no stream at all because <laughs> he didn't want to come on so bad. <laughs> Yeah. So, no, there's life. The alcohol is going to make everything worthwhile. This is the only reason why he comes yes. on. <laughs> he does any of this. Uh, why anyone does any of this. Um, so, yeah, we're going to, what's the game we're going to play? The X-Men arcade yeah, game? Yeah, X-Men arcade. Uh, I'm wondering if I should pivot the camera over to show off this contraption. You can show it off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here, let me mute myself. Or I'm going to mute us real quick. Okay. okay, you should be unmuted. I'm unmuted, okay. So this, as I said, Brian um, collects arcade games, and this is a board from the X-Men arcade game, um, which was the four player, uh, what kind of, what would you call that? Four player, like? Well, it's an arcade, yeah, it's a, it's a beat em up. Beat em up, that's right. I was yeah. gonna say smash em up, but beat em up. Um, so yeah, that is the, that they've been, that's why we were a couple minutes late to the stream because getting all that wired into the Twitch, I assume wasn't easy, Eric. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> so it's all, I'm going to point to bits of this if I can. Okay. But so, you're muted. Yeah, I know. You're going to have to say it. So okay. That, that's the arcade board. Okay. So that's the arcade board. Power supply. Power supply. Uh, scan converter. Scan converter. And then like a signal converter. Signal converter. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did how long did that take you to set up? Uh, enough. Enough is what he says. Yes. And now it's all blurry. Um, Crispy says, "Oh my God, it's question mark guy. <laughs> it is question mark guy." Um, did you just unplug something? No. Okay. <laughs> He's tripping on stuff. <laughs> there we go. Unmuted. So my favorite thing was the the new hire that we had uh, coming out of orientation. That Eric does part of the orientation with them for all the technical stuff. And as he walks out, he says, "So are you the guy that puts all the beards on people on Twitch?" I'm like, yes. That's all I'm good for. That's all he's good for. But here's his face, his beardless face. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's it doesn't look good after a week. <laughs> my mom's ashamed of me if I try to grow it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, poor jeans. <laughs> poor jeans. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. Well, we should play. Um, we should play X Men. Okay. Well, uh, we're flying by the seat of our pants here, so this could fly off the handle at any minute. Correct. Uh, let us know if there's any problems with the audio levels, because I can't monitor anything. So. <laughs> since he was forced to come on the stream, since I didn't want to be by myself again. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> Look, Mike. Hi, Mike. Why? Why? What happened where, to my, yeah, what where are you working? Why are you not working with us? <laughs> okay. Crispy says, "What happened to my beers?" Uh, They're gross. so busy. They're busy working on, you know, actual getting these games developed, um, and then interviewing so we can the get the game developed faster. Uh, but they'll be back. They'll be back. We'll have more beards on, or we'll make Eric grow his sad beard, as he says. Ooh. Or just wear a fake one. I'll start bringing in like a collection of um, fake beards. I'll just grow out my hair, my my hair, and then uh, you know uh, donate oh, it to my my city. chain. 
you know. <laughs> Tape it on. <laughs> I like those plans. So I think you need to press start. Possibly. Oh, uh, press the left bumper to get a coin. There you go. Don't press it too many times. Yeah. You, you want to be able to change okay, characters like at pop? some point. Yeah. So you got the lame character. What? Why is it the lame character? It's Cyclops. He's lame. But he shoots lasers. Okay, well, I'm out of lasers. What does that left bumper do? Uh, Other that gives than make you, a cool 87. It, it gives you more coins. So yeah. it, if you do that too many times, you won't be able to swap characters. Is question mark guy Eric? It is! Yeah. This is Eric. This is the elusive Eric. Hi, guys. From the wild. Yeah, I'm nothing special, so. I convinced him to come on today. Everyone else in this place is busy. Yeah. But hey, Lord we'll, we'll for us. <laughs> good thing he brought. Well, us no, well, it's a little bit. I, I was like, should I really good stuff? I don't know if they're worth it. And then you found out you were the guest, and you're like, I am worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you get the controls? Yes. Okay. I think I have. I have a punch. I have a laser. And then you have a mutant power button, which is the B button. Oh yeah, that was what I was using. Okay, well. So if uh, you guys can't see, we're playing on S or we're playing on Saturn controllers right now, which I've never owned a Saturn myself. But I haven't either. Actually, this is the first time I've held a Saturn controller. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like them. Yeah, it's easy to use. I like the positioning. Uh, yeah, I like six button controllers. They always make nice. Oh, that was a head. So if you guys can't tell, uh, I am Wolverine, she is Cyclops. Have you played any beat em up support? Um, no. I mean, well, I played, you know, at pizza joints when I was a kid. I played Mortal Kombat or, sure. you know, the, whatever was there, but... I didn't go to the arcade as much as, you know, Brian did. <laughs> One of the best days of my life, I was at, I used yeah. to, I used to go to a boys and girls club after school. Oh, I did too. Yeah, that was my life. Yeah. So, uh, we happened to have a couple arcade machines there. One was uh, Super Mario, I think, or Mario World. And the other was Final Fight, the first Final Fight, great game. So I think the machine broke one day, and we had to get some operators out there to fix the site. But uh, they gave us free play for the day. Oh, that's awesome! And, like you can't beat that game as a kid. Like no matter what allowance you got. Thanks, Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. here for your entertainment. So let's try something else. Colossus. We just never play my kind of video games. Except I suck at my kind of video games, too. Crispy. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy them. What type just... of games do you play besides Minecraft? Yeah, Crispy, what's your, what's your jam? Good job. Bonus. See, I, I, I made it. <laughs> I, I, you're gonna need to, to get a screen grab of that comment and make sure everyone knows that the world knows. I'm barely going to do anything. Are you Captain Planet? <laughs> oh boy. Hey, if I turn the tent up high enough, maybe. Have you seen the Don Cheadle uh, Captain Planet? Yes, I have. It's my favorite thing that I, I caught on that me. too late, actually. Like, it was funny, but I think it would have been funnier if I saw it in high school, you know? No, Don Cheadle, it's his, it's like this moment of him. He turns bad. I, me. I can appreciate him not being himself too serious about himself, so, you know, Mr. Hotel Rwanda is yeah. Captain Planet, right? <laughs> that, that wants to kill everyone. Yeah. I sympathize with that. Um, Crispy says, Call of Duty, uh, uh, yeah, GTA, Binding of Isaac. Isaac. I thought about picking up Isaac on the Switch this weekend, but, yeah, I can't convince myself. There's a, um, there's a new game. I heard, I heard an interview with this designer on, uh, on NPR, they were doing an interview with this woman who designed this game called 
Sea of Solitude coming out. Mm, yeah, I And I'm that. really interested in it. It looks, <laughs> it looks almost like Miyazaki style art, right. um, like Studio Ghibli Miyazaki. Um, was... But she said it was based on her, her uh, issues with depression. And so it's this girl who's like turning into a monster as the tides keep rising in a town, and it's all metaphor for dealing with depression. And it just sounded really fascinating and totally different, totally unique. So yeah. I'm excited about that um, game. I, like, I really like where games are these days, and I hate it at the same time. Like, you know, there's no room for a good story in AAA game these days, but boy, like, indie developers are really killing it with uh, neat stories and you know, right. very personal stuff. So. If you guys have, I was just talking with Beth about this, of trying to come up with, you know, what we should do on this Twitch stream while we can't, you know, in between Drifter stuff. And uh, I'd like to start kind of showcasing playing more indie, indie game games, um, indie studio games. So if you guys have any recommendations of good indie studios or games by indie studios, please let us know because I'd like to start exploring some of those, especially on here. Well, something I've been wanting to watch or play has been Night in the Woods. I haven't played that yet. That was scary. No, no, no. It's, uh, I, I really don't know what the story is, but it seems right up our alley. I did like it. But, um, very artsy. Depressing. Right. Um, all that shit. I keep forgetting who I am. I look too much like some of these other guys, and I'll start following them. Yeah, 90s X-Men sort of blends all together. Spandex, what are you talking about? That was the best part of the 80s game, Comic Book World. So, uh, you're talking about Studio Ghibli. Uh, yes. There was actually a game, or a couple of games that came out not too long ago. Uh, there are RPGs called Game of Game. Have you seen those at all? Yeah, it, they look like they're ripped right out of you know, this, you know, like a Miyazaki movie. It looks incredible. <laughs> Oh ho! Oregon Chris Trail. Says great. We should play Oregon Trail. I haven't played that since I was in like third grade. I didn't even know it was still a thing. Uh, there's a lot of versions of it. There's actually. There's I can't a, tell if Crispy's being serious or if he's taking the piss. But so there's a contemporary version of that game too. I think too. it's a good idea. <laughs> there's an Oregon Trail where I think you try to go. You're a bunch of uh, hipsters trying to make it to a festival in Oregon. And oh my god. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, you know, you're, you, you've only got a lot of money, and you've, you know, you have a bill of goods that you have in the beginning, and that's what you're doing. You know, you're dealing with all, you know, modern day issues. <laughs> <laughs> that they don't have clean, you know, their clean water is in PG, so... <laughs> like, they can't drink the tap water. I'm not hip story enough. Play it, play it. These are, but... Definitely, we should play it. We should play the original Oregon Trail or this uh, hipster Oregon Trail. Sounds pretty entertaining. What is this? Oh, that kills you. That's <laughs> They look like they're so happy. They're just, they want to shoot missiles at us. So Crispy says he wants to see me attempt Apex or Fortnite. We could try it. No? Yeah, but they're, they're saying me because I'd be so bad at it. Yeah, it would be fun. I'd rather watch her play PUBG, though. She, yeah, that, that takes a look. There's some, there's some nuance there. I mean, even like Overwatch I suck at. I've only played it before. Captain Planet. Yeah, I'm still Colossus. I want to die. Oh, I keep thinking it's Captain Planet. Wait. You're by yourself. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm dead. You're there. Cyclops. Oh, I'm trying to kill myself. This is pretty lenient for a. Maybe he. Yeah, maybe he did. Tinkered with it. Dipsticks. Good, I'm doing better. Mimi is gonna know everything about drifters and every character. So sick. I will. Oh, I've played it. I'm I'm terrible at it because it's not the type of game that I'm. You know, I'm used to playing stuff like 
Well, like Tomb Raider or Skyrim or um, I just started Witcher 3. I keep saying that. I've been saying I started Witcher 3 for about six months now. <laughs> That's because I've had such little time to play it. Um, I have... Hello. <laughs> we have we're, we're we have one of our producers. We're, we're midstream, Drew. <laughs> oh, is it? No, it, no one seems to be complaining. Is the frame rate all messed up? Although it's just crispy bashing me about my terrible game playing. Oh, that's weird. Well, no one's complaining, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Thanks. <laughs> All right, you, you want some? You want some? You want scotch? some scotch? Yeah. I need to eat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to eat too. We have been taken by Magneto. However, we had time um, to locate yeah. the base. Yeah. Well, I'll island. I'll probably still destroy it. Love to see. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure once Drifters is done, we'll be playing it a lot, and you'll get to see me suck, as always. You know, I'll let position I'll never be in the Hit me up with a beta question. Yeah, the frame rate dropped when you were tight when fighting the robots. Is it better now? Is it yeah, is it better now? Oh, I keep losing track of that. You're, uh, you gave yourself a lot of lives. How do I? Shoot, it press B. I did. There you go. Well, I've tried to... How do you change character? Uh, you can't until you lose all your lives. So you, you press the, uh... Oh, shit. See, I thought that meant I changed characters. Yeah, you gave yourself too many oh, lives. Comic books? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Um, I don't read a ton of them, and the ones I do are usually more like one-offs. Sure. Um, those are those are where I go to as well. I tried getting into some of the Marvel series and sagas, but it's just it's impossible. To pop up. Um. Yeah, I uh, I used to, when I was younger, Batman was my, my thing. So I used to read a lot of Batman comics. Um, the love. read the Frank Miller stuff? Um, I've read, I've read one or two. Because he did a few, right? Yeah, I think he did three okay. series, from what I remember. I've read I ha Yeah, I haven't read the like full series. I've read a few issues and stuff, but... Um... What did I just, I started the, I just finished the In Call by uh, Hodorowsky. Um, Hodorowsky is one of my favorite filmmakers and I found out he also used to do graphic novels. And so he did this series called the In Call and in the intro it talks about how basically every single, so there, are, there are things in this, no, in this graphic novel that have been taken fully and put into every sci-fi movie you've ever seen. Like, is that this the Holy Mountain guy? Off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've seen one of his movies, so I've never read any of his. But yeah, he, he just started buying his... Did his you see uh, the uh, Dune movie about him? I We have it, but we're too scared to watch it because we know we'll just be depressed that oh, he didn't yeah. do it. No, I, I absolutely <laughs> was after I watched that. Like, it's got well, everything I want to do. Mm -hmm. HR Geeger as one of the artists. Yeah. Um, well, his, so the in call, this this uh, graphic novel, is drawn by the illustrator is Mobius, who did the yeah. Fifth Element. And there's tons of stuff that they stole for Fifth Element from this graphic novel. Um, and then also, I just recently started Black Science for Dell's recommendation. It's really good. I've uh, finished one. I've, I just bought two, but I haven't had time to go back to school. 
I just finished the first semester. Nine books in seven weeks is what I read. I calculated the page count, 1,800 pages. That's crazy. I don't even know what's going on. That's all right. Oh, I fired off the screen! I'm being molested by a pink demon. He's just wants to tickle you. Oh, hey, Starwolf. Go and rescue Kitty from the cave. <laughs> Starwolf is here now. Wait, die two more times and you can change your character. Okay, thanks, Bloodbug. What do you press? Do you press something to change? I'll, I'll walk you through it. So okay. if you die, um, just don't do anything. Yeah, we're Starwolf. We're playing um, Brian. It's a uh, arcade board for this game. Like, the whole setup at the beginning we showed, like, the whole insane setup. It's insane, too. This guy, Brian, knows his stuff. Uh, he knows his stuff, for sure. I want to visit his house. I see he's got. We should, tell, we should invite ourselves over for a party. <laughs> hey, Brian, we're having an arcade party. Full studio-wide arcade party here. At home. Well, he's offered to bring him in for for part, you know, events. We should do a arcade day. Well, I've always toyed with the idea of, you know, building a uh, bar top arcade or something for this place, but I always worry about the noise issue and whether or not people will actually play the game. Right. It, they're not really all that difficult to put together these days. But it's like maybe 150 bucks for materials. Yeah, arcade day would be fun. Oh, and Star Wolf, if you go look back through the comments, you'll see all the shit-talking of Captain Crispy telling me how terrible I am at games. <laughs> and I don't even care, because he's right. Well, he can't drink, and he can, so that's what counts. This is why I drink, is to make up for the fact that I suck. I use it as an excuse. It makes playing these games really Like, that, that's why you saw these games at bars, right? Yeah, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Pizza places. <laughs> no, Star Wolf. What is your super? Uh, well, you, do you know my crawler at all? Uh, As a character. A he, little he, bit. He can teleport around. So. Oh, okay, cool. He's like, yes. It's amazing. Like I can disassociate so quickly. Do with I? These games. Do I have? Can uh, I change? Not yet. I wonder how, what other games you have. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool. Like you can just break out an arcade board and go up to. Uh, does he have like the cabinet? At Oh, I really doubt that. No one. It, Brian's probably the same enough to have a few cabinets, but I think he does. Those things are just way too cool to have. It, you have to be really passionate about that stuff. The, the cabinets are not The issue too is the old CRTs, those old arcades. They need to be serviced, and unless you really know what you're doing, you kill yourself pretty quickly. Like you need to ground out the capacitors on there. Discharge them. Where'd I go? Uh, oh, so press the left bumper. Okay. Okay, and then you can select characters by. Oh. Yeah. Which way? Okay. Let's choose. I have no idea what this is. What? Dazzle. Okay. What did I get? I ran out of time. Who the hell is this? Storm. Oh, I thought I was the other one. <laughs> I actually have no idea who Dazzle is. I don't know, but they have an awesome name for a superhero. Just press your B button a lot. Well, I don't have it. Where am I? No. Brian was so jealous that he didn't get to play. I hope that interview's worth it. 
I remember being entranced by this game when I was a kid at like a, I think it was a Whole store or something that happened to have an arcade machine in one of the old aisles. I never came across this game. Yeah, I just, I have this crystallized memory of seeing the blob uh, in the interstitial, in, interstitial in the beginning, the, uh, the uh, demo scenes in the beginning, right, right. and just being confused by his character, like what, what's the point of him, <laughs> other than being fat? I guess that's enough. What is your super dazzler? A dazzle. Oh, that is what true. Else? That's what that thing is. Oh, yeah, hey, you can jump off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzler. What? You do want the Dazzler. You have to pay for the Dazzler. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Oh. Yeah, he's got a great super. See, I'm getting better, crispy. Just they're made to sit quarters. You ever watch any of the X-Men films? Yes. Yeah, those are like some of the only Marvel movies I've seen. I don't really care much for them. Really? I like the X-Men. I know it's sacrilegious. I didn't see the last one. Um, I liked X-Men First Class. First class, was that the one where they instituted the missile crisis? Or. I, I can never remember. It's the first one where we have James McAvoy. Yeah, okay, I think that might be the missile crisis. I don't remember. I don't remember the thought. Speaking of which, I just watched. What was it, JMK? Or. That Kevin Costner movie about the missile crisis. You ever see that? It's decent. Really long. I do remember the cartoons in the 90s, Star Wolf. Those were the best. Although, I, you know, as a kid I could never watch them in order, so I was, I was always confused as to what was going on. In them. 90s cartoons were the best. Actually, I was I just heard a, a story. There's a guy who just wrote a book about the golden age of film being the 90s, actually, and 1999 being historically the best year well, of cinema. Of what? That's a lot of shit. He read, though, off all the movies that came out in 99, and they interviewed every critic, and they're like, yeah, 99 is known as the best year of film. And that's because studios were making all this money on... Uh, well, DVD sales, so they were giving them to the independent art, act, you know, directors and stuff, and taking chances, like right. Spike Jones being John Malkovich. That was a music video director, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Where I thought you were talking about TV, not movies. No, 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 okay. to movies. And yeah, it is 13 Days. It was a good movie. I, I, they, I, they really pull off the accents on there pretty well. Is it? I've never even heard of that. Not you, but it's good. You, uh, see... Chihuahua yet? No. Although I did just start watching Legion. Yeah, Legion's good. Uh, I hear it takes a bit of a dive the second season. Uh, and I think season three just started. Yeah, that's why I, I started it. Um, it's a... I mean, I'm not usually terribly interested in, like, characters issues or going through cycle scenes or whatever, but they do it really well on the show. So yeah, I, I prefer this to, this is the only Marvel thing I really liked. <laughs> I'm like, this is a Marvel thing? Like, it's like, more like a, it's more like a David Lynch yeah. type thing than, I just absolutely love it. And David Lynch is such a blind spot for me. I, I still have not watched one of these. I need to rewatch it. It's been so long, and I don't even know if I've watched every episode because it was on when I was younger. Follow me. I'm surprised the camera hasn't ca crapped out yet. 
Lucky us. But I also uh, <laughs> love uh, Little Mulholland Drive and Blue Velvet. I haven't seen either of the. Uh, well, it's not a remake, it's a sequel to Twin Peaks, right? Uh, the new thing? Because there was a sequel. I am stuck. Oh, I'm. Yep, it's a straight sequel. Most of the cast comes back, uh, as a matter of fact. Well, because there was already a sequel after Twin Peaks. The, the fire, what's it called? Something on fire? Fire Watch or something. Yeah. I can't remember. And then, yeah, there's a new thing. I hear the movie is terrible, but whatever. I, I honestly, I don't think. Taste for sure. I watch a racer, but I think I was at one point. I love a racer. It's not a good thing if you're drinking it, I think. That damn baby in the movie. This is the best. Yeah. One year I'm gonna go like as a Halloween costume. Go crazy, I mean, really, well, all you need is like a girl on your back or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's music. It's music, and it's retro. Arcade music. Oh my God. So good. Oh, you're Let's try this guy. Let's see what's This punch wow. is kind of sad. How would you feel if you lost your legs and you got to take drugs instead? Like, how does he go to bed? He just sleeps in bed. Yeah. I don't think they think about these things That's when designing these characters. I would. How would they sleep? <laughs> yes, but can they sleep comfortably? I don't know. Oh, it's apocalypse. I mean, did you ask that question when you saw uh, <laughs> the guy in Wild Wild West? Oh, With yeah. the spider leg. Like. Uh, yeah. Jeez, I, man, I have not watched that. I kind of miss those types of movies, I think. Like, they don't really... Do they make movies like that anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. But that was what they were talking about on the show, when they were talking about how the 90s people were just taking chances on I, weird I mean, shit. It, it's objectively And now it's just movie. all sequels and yeah, remakes. Yeah. They just want to do stuff that's dependable. Well, I mean, that was a sequel to itself, right? Or a remake. A remake, yeah, the show. My mom, my mom was done with the movie. Yeah. The scene where all the paintings come alive and start shooting, my mom did all the paintings. <laughs> Did she only paint, or were there other... She just paints. Well, yeah. she painted the people, like, into the painting. So she did painting and painting. So she had the subject that she was working with. Yeah, so she said one of the guy that she was working with was, because, uh, yeah, she was on set painting him in and placing him to make sure he matched the background and stuff like that. And it was the guy that was in Mighty Ducks 2 that played like the cowboy thing. I, would I just remember at the time being really excited about that because <laughs> I love Mighty Ducks. From his asteroid base. You must boil his Whiskey in an empty stomach. Uh, not great. Oh, you should have had a snack. Oh no! The camera! Oh yeah, the camera's gone. How long have we been gone? No hold one's on. watching, hold no one cares. On. We're yep. just. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know how long we'd been like that. The camera likes to go black after about 30 minutes. We keep it strictly unprofessional here. Yes. Although I'm trying to get a new camera, and, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no worries. There's no one in the chat right now, so it's not like moderation is super important. 
Unless Crispy comes back to insult me. I think there's a chance we might be beating this game before the hour's up. We're in space. Space is really... <laughs> <laughs> space means you've made it. Yeah. <laughs> this game, so there's that's the These guys are the best. I think I could do the tank shorts. What happened to your other Twitch videos? It only shows the goat simulator one. I think fish logic, but um well Twitch deletes videos after two weeks. Um, but we put them all on YouTube. Um, so if you go to the Blind Squirrel Games YouTube channel, all of our old Twitch streams, we download them off the site and, uh, and put them up on our YouTube stream or channel. Can't play and talk at the same time. What is that? <laughs> Alright, well, Wolverine's my new favorite in this spazzy slicing. Oh boy, the blob's just a regular enemy. Oh no, it's a boss rush. This must be a lot. Maybe this is the final. Mm, we need some serious firepower here. Oh wait, that's the Facebook, Star Wolf, not the YouTube. Did I say Facebook? I meant YouTube. I'm all distracted. I can't play and talk at the same time. Thank you, Star Wolf. See, I'm all distracted. I'm in a corner hitting nothing because I'm talking. <laughs> okay, thanks, Star Wolf. So, have you ever read uh, Transmetropolitan or uh, Why the Last Man? No. It's both pretty good. Although, I reread re -read Transmetropolitan not too recently. Who's it? Who's it by? <sighs> Who wrote Mal's? Oh, Spiegelman? Is that the name? Or uh, Spiegel? Spiegel? I don't think so. Yeah. It's like Spiegel or something. I think I got this. I'll look it up. Uh. <sighs> Warren Ellis. What? Yeah. I don't know if I can remember if he did Mouse, but uh. Yeah, Mouse is the Spiegel guy. Okay. Uh, well, oh no, he... Shit, did he do Watchmen? I can never remember, but anyways, uh, Transmetropolitan... Watchmen is Alan Moore. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> I just worked at a bookstore for five years. <laughs> yeah, uh, but anyways, that well, series is, much. uh... Man, it's a little bit up its own ass. It, it's got that... It's pre-internet, but it's got that internet, like... Which one is? Uh, Transmetropolitan. Okay. Yeah, it, it's uh, he really gets politics wrong, I think. Oh God. The this is this impossible? Yeah. I think this is this the final level. Oh yeah, the, this has to be. Of course. Alas, Why can't I play Zeke? One hop around. It's wheelchair. I wonder if he's unlockable. More. You are helpless against my power, X-Men. What is this? I kill you. I kill you. You are dead, I kill you. That's Magneto. Magneto needs to get some new lines. X-Men come to die. 
Oh, excellent Kung Fu die. I gotta say, the setup works pretty well. Very low latency. You shall meet with my rap. <laughs> You are dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, he keeps kicking me in the face. Yeah, Magneto trained uh, on the Russian ballet. Okay, he don't. Kick really hard. Don't. Well, look at those, like, calves and those hamstrings. <laughs> of course, he's a ballet dancer. You are dead. No! Get me. Oh man. Kick to the head. Yeah, keep kicking. The head. Oh, oh! Do we do it? Do we do it? following the story at all? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> the game is not over yet. Victory, but still, the battle against the threats of the evil just began. The struggle for the next one will be continued. No, the game is not over yet. You're getting close. <laughs> hey, you joke, but I can listen to this stuff all day. It's great. Reminds me of like <laughs> Gloria Estefan. <laughs> okay, wait, the game isn't over yet. What? What is this? <laughs> I love these super high rasterized comic books. Uh, you can't read those. Crispy should know that I am just as bad at dancing as I am at playing video games. I, I, I know how to do the running thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. But, I'm, but I'm not standing up, so. <laughs>
below your score, if you can see it on the top. My, my strategy is to just what? Break that bottle. Oh, oh. Did you want one? Yeah. Mr. Shot. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I don't want to go for it. I get I didn't give you that much. The game's getting mad at us. Move on! <laughs> This music. The ones are super. I didn't mean to. I hit the wrong button. Why would better? I still hit the wrong button. Yeah, these guys are shots. These guys are sentinels too. Should they be like? I need the soundtrack. That's real remix of this. <laughs> oh, it's never good at rhythm games. Oh. Do you think Wolverine has any rhythm? Oh, I want to see Wolverine dance, actually. Well, he's played by Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, wonderful uh, I guess, dancer. Yeah, I guess he is, right? Oh, why yeah. hasn't he done some sort of like? <laughs> I could, I can't believe he hasn't done that on some late night show or something. Some Wolverine like ballet dance type thing. Because he uh, is, he's a. Well, they did a Spider-Man show on Broadway, right? So right. There so they should, should do be Wolverine a Wolverine one. musical with Hugh Jackman. And he should get progressively more drunk through the night, so yes. you know, unfortunately the actor gets cirrhosis, but you know, that's acting, right? I'm trying to go to the beat of the music, Mike, but it's, it's pretty hard. We should play a fighting game against each other at some point. I'd like to get my ass kicked by you and see if that can happen. Probably not gonna happen. I don't know, I'm not even good at it. See if Ryan has any of What are you doing these days, Mike? Answer us. out there for the world to see. Yeah. I just want to make sure he's good. He's okay. We all like that. You do like all Mike. Like all, <laughs> all like Mike. I like, oh, no. I like my guys. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't even, I just discovered something totally new, except yeah. I killed myself. What's up? 
If I jump and press the... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, uh... I, oops, I press the wrong button. Staple of your diet. Well, I just figured it out now. <laughs> Oh, hey, wow, new route. Alright, I hadn't died, like, this entire level, and now I discovered my new little move. I keep dying. I'm gonna stop doing it. Quick, beat up Elon Musk's robot before he takes over the world. Thank you. <laughs> no, I have some ideas. Um, Dom might be back for next week. Oh, um, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but no, I, I came up with a bunch of stuff. Uh, Beth and I actually so came Dom up with a bunch of stuff. Oh. I, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I know I'm at this point. But um, you were the hype. Everyone was so excited to see who, who was Eric. It, yeah, people, people just get disappointed for everything these days. So. I'm sorry. I haven't tried Dazzle yet. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I don't like that her super is you have to aim. Listen to this music. <laughs> like do you think someone actually, uh, do you think someone walking pull with that? Yeah. <laughs> Is this, is her, is her, like, is she really just slapping people? Or is that a karate chop? That's a karate chop. Okay, okay. Yeah. it looks like she... Teleportation. Really? Yeah, because there's so many other things you could do with teleportation. Sure. 
See, like, mine would be to control the gravity, I think, right? So, there's a lot that you can do with that. So, right, you can fly. Yeah. Yeah. You can fly really fast. You wouldn't really need to teleport at that point, right? You wouldn't create black holes. Yeah, but you could teleport into places that you couldn't be. And you could teleport across the world and back. If you need to get in somewhere, you teleport. I think I just want to fly. Yeah, flying would be fun. I turn you pink with my dazzling. Invisibility would be good. Uh, you haven't seen the X-Men episode about invisibility then. You ever see that? No. Are we so, done? Uh, we're getting there, I think. Go and rescue Kitty from oh, that's your phone. Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, well we're almost there. So the X-Men, or well, no, the X-Files episode of, uh, well, there, there's, a, there's a genie episode of the X-Files. I think someone wishes for invisibility, and he ends up getting run over by a car. So, oh, yeah. well there's that. Cause yeah. It, yeah. There's always going to be, just like with flying, like if you're not used to flying, you're going to run into yeah. all sorts of problems. No, you, yeah, no, you're, you're going to, yeah, you're, you're going to freeze yourself to death, or you're going to catch too many bugs, or... Hit a it, plane you know, or hit a bird or yeah. run into helicopters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look. Brian's here. The last minute. Uh, Brian. Um, I don't like Dazzler, Brian. <laughs> How did your interview go? <laughs> no one likes Dazzler. Yeah, Dazzler. Nightcrawler seems to be the best There are vertical lines, video noise on the output. Oh, great. Number five, Brian. Yeah, I decided Dazzler was the one I hadn't played yet for this last run, and um, we already beat it, by the way. This is our second run through, and Star Wolf was wondering if it gets harder. No, no. Just kill me. I want my super back. Nice, yeah, second loop is more difficult. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a pretty lenient game for a beat em up, though. Like, I, yeah. I think it, maybe I'd spend a dollar on this game at least to be a, you know, for spending quarters for life. It's not bad. No, it's no final fight. Hey, Brian, do you have Alien vs. Predator? Oh, and also, do you have the cabinets for these? Oh, it does have AP. That's awesome. <laughs> what? That game is so cool. We're playing AP. Bye, Mike. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Take care. I have all the CPS2 Oh, uh, so that means he's got some uh, fighting games as well. So, uh, we should get on. Yeah. Well, we were saying it'd be fun and... Oh, shit, I just pressed the... <laughs> we, uh, we should do a shots game with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom or uh, Street Fighter if he's got those. Yeah, we should do, like, a competition at work. Brian. Yeah, Brian. Get the off here. Ah! Because, heck yeah! Except that's just a lot of work for you bringing in stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're both we'll of there already. What are we doing next week? That's true. All right, let's beat this pterodactyl guy. And then we'll call it quits. Yes. Since we started a little late. Yeah, your setup is intimidating, man. So, props to you. That's good stuff. How much are these worth cost on eBay, you think?
Look at this, he's addicted. 500 Five bucks! Woo! That would be fun. Yeah. Oh. To answer your question, other question, I do have a cabinet that I swap in boards to. All of these JAMA boards have the same connector so you can easily pull a board out and replace it with another game and the video and audio and controls and automatically connected with the JAMA connector. I, I need you to explain what JAMA is. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I thought I was the only one that didn't know, uh, yeah, but apparently I've seen, not. I've seen JAMA arcade machines, but I really haven't done the investigation to see what that actually is. So we're, we're gonna end the stream now, I think. Yeah, why don't we pull out of yeah. the jamma is just a wiring standard. Ugh. All right. Well, thanks for watching our experiment with this arcade board and for the unveiling of Eric. I was saying how bummed I was that I didn't bring my green coat in so that he was like invisible and then I could slowly <laughs> unveil him. But I didn't know he was going to be on because it was a last minute, uh, last minute effort. Um, but thanks, Brian, for bringing in your, your arcade board. It's pretty awesome. We're going um, gonna to have to do more of these. Yep. So. And I have to work now, right? Oh, yeah. we got to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, guys. Thanks for, for joining us. Let's see and if we'll I remember the right button to actually stop the stream. We'll see you next week. Bye, maybe.